Hey everyone, it's Kino McGregor. There's a posture in the Ashtanga Yoga Second Series that's really cool to try called Titibhasana, it's a firefly posture. This is a great posture in the Intermediate Series because it's challenging in terms of endurance, but in terms of flexibility, if you've mastered the Primary Series, you'll be able to do this one. So let's take a look at this one. Um, traditionally, you would jump forward into Titibhasana, but let's not do that right now. Then, if you're getting into Titibhasana, you would start off here with the thighs on top of your shoulders and then you would inhale and lift your legs squeezing the thighs onto the body and this is a relatively nice simple posture squeezing the thighs onto the body feeling the core try to keep your collarbone broad so avoiding that kind of sensation keep the collarbone broad and lift yourself from your core squeezing in as much as you can after Jumping forward, taking five breaths there. Now, Titiwasana B, here's where it gets fun. You're standing up, and you gotta get your thigh on top of your shoulder. So you're gonna lift the heel off the ground, hold onto your calf muscle, and then step it forward, all right? Now, take this hand on the ground, lift the other one, hold your calf muscle, move it forward, then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your feet, okay? Reach your hands back, hold on to your fingers, and then, now is the key, we have to straighten our legs. So push your legs into the ground, spread the heels, and now push your shoulders into your thighs and lift your head. So we want the legs to be as straight as possible, suck in the core, straighten your legs, and bring the head as far through as you can. Then, the next portion of the posture involves walking. So you wanna to lean to the side, walk forward, Lean to the side, walk forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You take five steps, but that's pretty good for the demo. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Then take your hands to the ground. See my thighs slid off of my shoulders. We need to get those back forward. So wiggle your feet, put them all the way forward. Head reaches through, feet as close to parallel as you can. Squeeze your thighs onto your shoulders and reach your fingers towards each other. If you can, you interlace the fingers. I can't do that, maybe you can if you're watching at home. You wanna really try, at least touch the fingertips towards each other. You wanna keep the feet as close to parallel. Then head up, back to Titibhasana. Inhale, lift up, squeeze your thighs onto your shoulders. Then, here's this transition into Bakasana. Lean forward, inhale, pull it in, Bakasana. Exhale, jump back, lower down, and that's Titibhasana. Work on that step by step. The key to doing this posture is to get your bind. You can grab your fingers, some of you have really long arms, you could grab your wrist, any grab is fine. I would recommend really working on the bind for a long time before you begin to walk forward. Thanks for watching.